The police found freebasing equipment and a quarter of a gram of cocaine in Crosby's dressing room. The sentence, five years in jail. Crosby's attorneys are appealing that decision. The Dallas incident is the most serious of Crosby's encounters with the law. Still unresolved is a case in Culver City, California, where two women charged Crosby with assault. He has denied those charges. How David Crosby, one of the most important folk rock artists of his generation, has come to this critical crossroad isn't completely clear. What is clear, though, is Crosby's apparent attempt to rehabilitate himself with more than a little help from Graham Nash and Stephen Stills. Crosby says he was set up and that the Dallas police wanted to make an example of him in what was an election year. They gave me a sentence of uh, five years in the Texas State Penitentiary for uh, a minuscule, minuscule amount of things that uh, any place else in the country I would have been dismissed and not even brought to trial. At the moment you still face that jail sentence? Yes, I do. Graham was asked about that not so long ago and he said he felt that it would be almost impossible for you to survive that. You're such a free spirit. You think it would be almost impossible to survive that? Yes. May I ask what you were doing with a gun? I used to carry one. I carried one for years. Uh, I no longer think it's necessary. Uh, it probably wasn't necessary then. There's the unfortunate incident uh, my friend John Lennon, which sort of gives a good example of why a person would, if they thought about it, maybe want to carry one. At the time of your arrest, you were freebasing cocaine, according to the police report. According to them, yeah. According to them. Do you want to deny that? I don't think I was doing anything when they uh, when they came in. Uh, but uh, they, uh, I just, I'm amazed at, at the sentence they gave me. You know, for, uh, for, I mean, I think there was maybe a half of a fingernail, baby fingernails worth of some substance or another. And it seems to me that five years in the state penitentiary is a little much. Did you say in retrospect that drugs have been the root of the problem? Mm -hmm. They're the root of a lot of problems. I don't recommend them. Why did you need them? I didn't say I needed them. I'm, I fooled around with them. I don't think anybody needs them. Then that quote that you gave, well, it's going back a few years, that it enhanced your creativity to use drugs. Wrong? Misquoted? Misquoted. Misquoted. Yeah. Did not enhance your creativity. Didn't say it. Didn't say it, but did it occasionally? I don't think that they enhance or, or destroy creativity. They can, in some cases, they can make a person looser, you know? In some cases, they can make a person unable to, uh, to function. I can't, you lump them all together and it's too uh, complex a thing to make a generalization about, you know, which drugs do what. Uh, I could say something positive about them in that they sort of blew the country loose from the 50s, which wasn't all that bad a thing, but I, I wouldn't try to recommend them to anybody. Have the consequences uh... John Belushi's death, Richard Pryor's near fatal accident. Distressing. Distressing to you? Oh, well, certainly. And John was a fine to, guy. To the point that that encouraged you to get off drugs? Yeah. No question. That and other people that I cared about a great deal, and Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Cass Elliott. A lot of fine people. Lost a lot of good people that way. You feel totally rehabilitated? I don't think anybody's ever totally rehabilitated. My life is quite different than it was. People say that Crosby, Stills and Nash and the social conscience of the 60s and the 70s, one of the most imaginative, brilliant musical groups, and David threw it away. Not a chance. Not, Not a true. Chance. Not true. First place, we're still playing and singing. And we've been doing so consistently. We toured all over this country in 82, all over Europe in 83, and we're doing it again in 84. So I don't think they could have possibly thrown away a group that's working steadily and doing good work. So I think that's bull bleeping. What, what single biggest regret? Of mine? Mm. Oh gosh, time we wasted. All the time we wasted being angry at each other and not being together and playing music.
trying to put his personal problems behind him. Mr. Crosby goes on the road with Stills and Nash. And that begins Thursday in Boston and then moves on to Philadelphia later on the week and coming up to New York August 14th and 15th, Chicago heading out there August 19th, Kansas City August 24th and moves west after that.